Hi guys and welcome to Braid Awarding System in Python. So I'm going to start by first of all declaring the following. I will just call this function grade underscore let's just say award grade. And I'm going to enter let's say math in enter a column in there so the mark is right there in the parentheses so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use an if statement if the map is uh, let's say greater than 100 or map is less than zero so that would be an invalid data that you just enter. So I'm going to say return invalid map. So in there, let's just enter, please enter a valid or enter a value between zero and 100. There we go. So that's what's going to return else. Uh, let's say else if Mac is greater than 80. So we can give that a distinction. So I'm going to ask it to return. Get this corrected. That should be F. So let's say return. distinction there we go else else if again copy that is that there else if if is let's say something like 60 then we can give that a merit else if again let's say if let's make that about 35 yeah so 35 can just be uh, right down and turn it past there okay now the next one is going to be else that's going to be a fail return a fail There we go. So that's that taken care of. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use create another function. I'll call it function main. This main function would be what will be displayed when you run the program. But first of all, I'm going to try by I'm going to use try. So to check the value that is enter, let's say student. Student Mac underscore Mac. If that is equals, in this case, let's use a float and the input. Let's enter our input in here. So we say enter student Mac between whatever. So we can come in here and just say enter the student. Mark, let's say between zero and one hundred. Right, that is fine. There we go. So that's let's store that inside this variable that we we're going to call. Let's say result, and that is going to be equals award so we're calling this to compare whatever value you have enter in here award grades that is going to be the student mark so you come in here first. there we go so let's get an output so let's say convert whatever is entered into string so we say the student 
result is enter curly braces to display the variable result so we're gonna enter result right there this very one just paste that in here there next let's use exception now say except if there's an error let me just ask it to display the following message so i'm going to ask it to print as follows say print invalid input please enter a numeric value there we go close off so i'm going to end it by using an e statement come right down here let's say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals then speech mark underscore underscore main underscore underscore close the speech mark column then we add it to return main there we go right so next thing before we do anything let's save it i'm going to go to file save as i'll just call that grades awarded something like that save that there we go all right so let's run it before we run it i need to enter a column in here and that's it i'm going to come in here now click on run there we go so let's enter an invalid data see that it's telling us that data is invalid so let's enter a valid data so come right here just run so we can make that let's say 71 and that should give you merit you see that guys as you can see if i run it and enter an invalid i would love the system to give me a chance to re-enter the data so to get that sorted i'm going to select all of these and let's just get it indented so we can just press Control shift using the square bracket and right here i'm going to say while the user has entered an invalid data i will then come right here here right here that's fine let's say if if result dot let's say starts starts with invalid then i want you to print let's say print result there let's get it invented and here we just come right here and enter continue there we go and right underneath here we just need to enter break and there we go that we actually exit the loop once the user enter the valid data okay guys let's try that out i'm going to click on run make sure it is saved as well so i will enter an invalid data you see it's now asking me to enter the correct data so i'm going to enter a valid data there we go and that is how you create your own grading system
using python so with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to this channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel you all have a nice day now bye for now